Hello, everybody. Uh, I'm happy to be here in Seoul. Thank you for inviting me. I am Fanet Mellier, a graphic designer from Paris, France. Um, I can show you a photo of my uh, studio. That is also my home. I work alone, sometimes with an assistant, but uh, most, uh, most of the time I work alone uh, on a commission project in the cultural field and also on a personal project that are some graphic design experimentation. I will start my presentation with a short overview of my graphic design works. I won't explain each project in detail, but um, I will show you my graphic design approach. And after this uh, introduction, I will show you uh, one of my recent projects, that is a um, pedagogical kit, and uh, I will explain this project in detail. So, I often work on graphic identities, like many graphic designers. It's not very big graphic uh, identities because I work alone, but it's for association, art centers, or uh, art collection, for example. I show you some images. I like to work on graphic identities because um, I consider it like a sort of, um, of garden. It's like to cultivate a garden because, because each graphic material is one, like one brick in the wall. And uh, it's um, work that we can make uh, on time. And I think it's uh, quite interesting to work on this kind of projects. So you can see, for example, an identity um, some signage system for a graphic design, uh, for an um, art center, excuse me. And this is a graphic identity for an art collection uh, near Bordeaux in France. Some graphic materials, some booklets with their programs. And I like to work on this uh, collection effect. And uh, this is the same booklet with type. And uh, here are some posters uh, with always their logotype in the center, a very hieratic logotype uh, in which there is a, a gradient that is a random, randomly made gradient. So three posters. And uh, the last one was uh, printed last week. Um, I also work on posters. Um, unfortunately, I don't uh, have... A, I, I am rarely commissioned to design posters uh, because I don't make a um, FIFA identity. So it's rare, but uh, I like to do this because I think you have to construct a visual strength, and it's very interesting. But I consider uh, posters not only like uh, images, but like um, some uh, printed objects. So I try to consider materiality of posters. For example, this tapestry was made of uh, graphic uh, elements uh, to control printing. Uh, it was a poster for an exhibition about editorial design and uh, it was uh, printed on the backside and just by a fold, the title of ex exhibition and the informations appeared. Some details. And um, when I uh, talk about materiality, uh, I talk about uh, printing process also. Here is a poster design for an exhibition about uh, Jean-Christophe Averti, that is a famous um, TV uh, director, uh, so I worked on the printing process to make each copy of a poster unique with a randomly uh, process. So for me, it's important that posters can be seen from far away 
and um, also be interesting from very close. This is a black and white poster for a personal exhibition with, um, at a graphic festival that is uh, called Une Saison Graphique in France. It's a very important graphic design festival. So I made a personal exhibition. It was a type experimentation and I, um, I made this uh, black and white uh, poster. It's not usually for me to work in black and white, but it was a real pleasure. So I show you some typography projects. These later are from the exhibition um, that I made in Le Havre. You saw the poster, just the image before. So I don't consider myself as a type designer, but I am a graphic designer that designs type to make some design works, for example, a graphic identity for an art association. And uh, I try to make also experimentation with type. For example, big posters that are some type grids, and they were painted in black to put some poems, some poems in the public space. So it was um, in a small city near Paris, Fontenay-sous-Bois, and it was a sort of experimentation of, a, of a public space to make some poems in the streets. Type design is a central also in commission project. This is a, a, a ticket uh, that is a um, greeting card for a museum in Paris. It's the Art Decorative Museum. So I made this, uh, this font. Another experimentation in public space with poems. Graphic identity for architects made with uh, letters that are stickers. And some posters that uh, transforms into letter. It's an E when you fold it. And uh, this is um, an experimentation with type. When you will see the uh, next image, you will uh, understand what it is. It's a sort of little booklet. Because I made often graphic experiments, it's not uh, an art practice uh, that I make uh, out, out of commission. It's um, experimentations that I made with my uh, design daily tools. I think it's important for me to make some experiences. Uh, when I don't make commission projects, I try to experiment these tools like typography, space, lecture, etc. So the booklet that you have seen, uh, it was uh, some letters. It's um, it's a stained glass window that I made with uh, little posters that were printed in offset in the two sides. And it's a sort of experimentation of light and printing process and possibilities of color. Of course, it's very fragile because it's made in paper. But uh, it was in a design exhibition in a castle in Marseille. Uh, this is some images of a workshop that I've made with children. Uh, I made some uh, scratch of games. There was nothing to, to win except some forms and some uh, colors and some false bills that they had to, uh, to draw. So this is uh, a few images. Uh, this is a, um, a signage system that I made in uh, Chaumont for the festival, for the opening of the festival, of the Graphic Design Center, excuse me. And uh, experimentation means for me uh, experimentation on printing, and this is a printing process in Lézard Graphic in France. And I uh, printed um, a poster that was a sort of color chart uh, made in, uh, in uh, serigraphy printing, silk screen. 
variation and phosphorescent inks. And uh, I love to work on books. Uh, some are commissioned, some are personal projects, but I always try to, uh, to tell a story with these books. And uh, some uh, moon and sun books that I made in offset. I try to experiment the color. A uh, non-binded book that can be flat. Commission book, commission book for exhibition. A personal project, a commission book for exhibition. And um, this book that was made with uh, a French writer. And uh, I tried to make a link between uh, literature and graphic design. So now I will present you a kit that is a pedag pedagogical kit. I uh, will show you, you see the real scale of this project. It's a very special project, uh, very interesting and very ambitious, because uh, it's a pedagogical tool to teach um, what is graphic design to school children, teenager school children. Uh, for secondary school. It was made uh, by, uh, it was commissioned by a uh, French Ministry of uh, Culture and French Ministry of Education. And uh, we were a group, a working group, uh, and uh, it was a collective project. I was a member of this group to, um, to work on the content. Uh, for, for example, uh, I wrote some captions, as I chose some content, some images, and some text with the other people, and people of the group were teachers or um, graphic design professionals. So the kit is um, in two parts. Excuse me. There is um, a booklet and five posters. Uh, it is, um, you can see um, there is a, a plastic, uh, a plastic cover that uh, made uh, make the content visible, like a sort of rainbow. And the booklet is, um, is a teaching tool. Uh, it's a teacher's booklet with text and documentary resource. And the five posters uh, present some themes, some subjects that are developed into the kit. So, in the booklet, the common parts are multicolored, and each team is in one color. So, the teams are typography, there are some teaching ins inside, color, data visualization, images, and layout. And the posters are reproduced uh, in uh, one color each time with some captions. And the design of the kit um, was made, uh, I don't know if you can see it, yes, it's big. Um, it's a reference to a very familiar grid. It's, the, it's called the Sayes ruled line in French. It's a French ruling. It's a guide for uh, handwriting of school children since decades. It's very well known in France. And I wanted to make a multicolored version of this grid. Because even if uh, the exercise book cover and these lines, I wanted that uh, the design uh, was familiar with school children, but the layout of the text ignores the lines, and there is a tension be between this line and the layout. I also designed a typeface for headings. It's an adaptation of the original design of Futura Type by Paul Renner. Uh, I wanted to, to make this reference to this uh, historical uh, type 
on uh, I choose this uh, this type because it's made of combining forms like uh, pieces of a kit and uh, this form can be taken apart and reassemble like a game and sometimes only the forms appeared with a grid So, the posters uh, that are folded uh, on the back side, there are some colors, and you can uh, make the link between uh, uh, the part of the booklet that is about one theme, for example, uh, blue is uh, for typography, and uh, it's very easy to find the, the good poster. And, um, and this uh, poster, uh, this poster, uh, are made with a very special uh, way of showing things to to the school children because they don't know at all what is graphic design. They are really beginners. So I had to design these posters uh, in a very simple way to explain very simple visual principles. So the type poster, um, there is a simplified typographic classification. Uh, I show what is the way, the body of the letters, letter spacing, always by uh, three letters words, and uh, also a comic uh, design font and some display design. So it's very simple, but uh, it can make a sort of overview of or what is type for children. The second posters, uh, poster is about color. Uh, it shows a color spectrum, an additive and subtractive synthesis, the CMYK color printing process. Um, it shows also the signification of a form that changes with color, for example, red cross and green cross doesn't mean the same, but the shape is the same. Uh, a sort of colored reflex with a red light. You don't think of a color, but it, bec it becomes a reflex. Some contrast also. With uh, I, sh I, I was inspired by Bajos, uh, Bajos exercise and Bajos work and some, uh, also some subjective harmonies from Johannes Heaton exercises. So this poster was, of course, printed in uh, CMYK. Uh, this poster is about uh, data visualization. It was very special to design it because um, I had to show what is data visualization, but uh, there wasn't real data, so it sort of dummy diagrams, so it was quite funny. It's like some tool diagrams, in reality. So I wanted to show some equivalences between abstract, ab abstract or figurative diagrams and uh, some pie charts, some timeline, or pie charts, some plans, linear or not, and uh, also a sort of uh, very simplified geological tree. It was uh, to make understand what is data visualiza visualization. But it was very interesting to work in this uh, sort of uh, visual toys. I don't have many time, I'll be uh, quick. Um, so this poster is about image and uh, with the group, we had a lot of discussion, and we chose to show an eye. Uh, there is a sort of a tautologic dimension to show an eye to talk about image, but we wanted to be uh, very archetypal and very simple. Uh, we had a partnership with uh, Shutterstock, and it's the only poster um, in uh, which I didn't make the design, but um, I uh, chose to print 
uh, in uh, three chromatic, uh, in three spot colors, to make a sort of a visual coherence between uh, all the different uh, images. Uh, these images are quite uh, bland, so we wanted to show that uh, the choice of the kind of images uh, you choose is very important. So if you say an eye, it can be a drawing, a painting, a photograph, a pictogram, a scientific illustration, and there are some different kinds of scientific illustration. Uh, it can be a manga or a cartoon style, it's not the same. And um, it was uh, very interesting to, ch to choose all this kind of, uh, of illustration. So, the last poster was interesting to do also. Uh, it's a poster to explain what is layout, and I think it was uh, uh, quite uh, difficult, and we had uh, a lot lots of discussion about it, because um, I thought it was very important to show the, um, a dummy content, so text and images are false, but um, it's only, only visual pr principles. So we, we show um, uh, the balance and articulation between text and image in different contexts. Context. So we show that the text can be uh, can be put in two color, two columns, three columns, and uh, it can be ranked right or left. Uh, you can choose the size of the margins, etc., etc. Uh, also, we show that uh, you can have a grid that is quite complex, like a newspaper grid but you can also make a sort of dynamic layout with a poster that is uh, on the left bottom. So, this kit was, uh, a part in, is a part in my work. It was a sort of dissex dissection, a mise en abyme in French. I think it's uh, the same in English. It's also a sort of uh, manifesto to show the importance of graphic design. And now I can tell I consider my profession with a new eye. It's in three spot colors. Thank you.